Desert Sky League results are the lead stories in this We Got em Tease report. Victor Valley upsets Barstow in the 99th running of the Axe game. The Jackrabbits versus Aztecs is the longest standing high school football rivalry west of the Mississippi. The win is the signature triumph for Coach Robert Kistner's program. His young rabbits rally from a two touchdown deficit at the half at Langworthy Field. Rivalry games have brought out the best in Hezekiah Jenkins, who ignited the come-from-behind rally with an 89-yard kickoff return. We get a good look at the 5'10", 140-pound junior wearing number four in this clip from the Bell game. Hezekiah Jenkins picked off an Aztec pass in the end zone and returned it 100-plus yards for what proves to be the game-winning touchdown in the 26-21 victory. Again, this interception from the Bell game file. Deshaun Clark, three, caught a pair of scoring passes from senior quarterback Elliot Beasley. The Jackrabbits defense limited Barstow to but one offensive touchdown, Dimitri Curiel's TD in the first half. The two other Aztecs touchdowns came on John Tay Drisdom's punt return and pick six. Jaquan Gibbs, 23, and Robert Vasquez, 22, are Rabbits' leading defenders shown in this archive video. Victor Valley's victory improves their Desert Sky League record to 1-1, one one, moving them in position for a playoff berth if they can win out against Granite Hills and Atalanto. No easy task. The loss throws Clay Lillamena's Aztecs off track in their bid for the DSL title. Barstow is idle next week before concluding league play at Silverado, October 28th. Atalanto overwhelmed Granite Hills in a game that saw 98 points put up on the scoreboard. Keith Reynolds scored four touchdowns, surpassing 200 rushing yards. Markai Shaw, two rushing touchdowns and one touchdown pass. The 60-38 Saints win is Coach Rafael Perry's second in a row without a loss in league play. The Saints' next challenge is huge. Atalanto hosts Silverado in what will be yet another shootout at Julian Weaver Field that will determine the Desert Sky League Championship. The Mojave River League Championship will be decided when Oak Hills plays Apple Valley this coming Friday. The outcomes of the last MRL games largely anticlimactic, Bulldogs and Sun Devils with decisive wins plus Sultana's lopsided victory at Burroughs. Robert Metzger unleashed his Bulldog running attack against Serrano, resulting in Carson Cox. 254 all-purpose yards and three touchdowns. First 8-0 start in Oak Hill school history, sending them into the showdown at Apple Valley with a full head of steam and momentous momentum. The Bulldogs will be out to keep Apple Valley's offense off the field with their balanced offensive attack that features Diego Lopez strikes to the area's most gifted set of senior receivers, the speedy Shane Young, 10, sure-handed Shea Gabriel, 11, and Christian Macias, 18. 18 of Diego Lopez's 19 touchdown passes between them. Apple Valley has to be concerned over their second straight sluggish start defensively against an underdog opponent. Hesperia marched down the field on their game opening possession, ripping off sizable gains on the ground before Josh Smith carried over from two yards out to cap the time consuming drive that ate up the first seven minutes of the ball game. Apple Valley's offense took no time at all, wrestling from the visitors the momentum, scoring on their second play from scrimmage on Xavier Salazar's 10-yard touchdown. Noah Seeley's 34-yard touchdown pass to Zyron Belcher early in the second quarter put Apple Valley ahead to stay. First of two first-half touchdown receptions for the junior wide receiver. For Noah Seeley, TD pass number 24 on the season, 
TD Pass 25 on the year comes compliments of Isaiah Ojeda's tremendous individual effort, the play originating from 12 yards out. Zyron Belcher's second touchdown reception comes when he grabs the Noah Seeley class and holds on. The scoring play from 10 yards out puts Apple Valley up 27 to 7. Let's back it up to the opening sequence of plays in order to highlight other outstanding plays by players from both sides. Actually, nothing sluggish about Apple Valley's defense on Asperia's first three plays of the game, backing the Scorpions into a third and long from their own 38. But the Sun Devils are penalized for unnecessary roughness, throwing down the Scorpions' pass receiver too aggressively, apparently. This keeps Hesperia's drive alive. The Scorpions' running attack comes alive. Josh Smith carries for eight as the visitors have advanced all the way to the 21. It's into the red zone as Brian Vasquez carries for 10 to the 11. When Josh Smith keeps for six, Isaiah Ojeda pounces on him. The Hesperia quarterback falls on the loose ball. The Scorpions quarterback fakes the handoff and follows O-line blockers into the end zone. The touchdown from two yards out. Ty Topete drills the extra point to make it seven to nothing. The drive consuming seven minutes. When Hesperia's Aiden Torres, 44, recovers the mishandled kickoff, the upset momentum gains further steam for the Scorpions. That is until Sun Devils Jr. Tyler Moon intercepts, stealing the pass, robbing the Scorpions of their momentum. From this point on, it is all Apple Valley. Sun Devils first play from scrimmage, junior running back Xavier Salazar carries for 52 yards all the way down to the 10. Next play, same play. Xavier Salazar carries it in untouched. The game is tied at seven. Apple Valley forces Hesperia three and out on their next possession. Cole Hedges, 53, slows down the ball carrier. Isaiah Ojeda, three, finishes him off, and the Scorpions must punt. Apple Valley's ensuing drive requires Aiden Sanchez churning his way to a first down on a fourth and one. Aiden Sanchez, 5'10", 215 pounds, a junior. Noah Seeley caps the drive with the 34-yard scoring pass to Zyron Belcher, first of two first-half touchdown receptions for the junior wide receiver. For Noah Seeley, TD pass 24 on the season. TD pass 25 on the year comes, compliments of Isaiah Ojeda's tremendous individual effort, yards after catch, the play originating from 12 yards out. Isaiah Ojeda announced a week ago his commitment to attend South Utah University on a full scholarship. Zyron Belcher's second touchdown reception, the scoring play from 10 yards out, puts Apple Valley up 27 to seven. That's TD pass 26 on the year for Noah Seeley. The final score, Sun Devils 37, Scorpions seven. Sultana's surging Sultans remain very much in the hunt for a postseason berth. Another career night for sophomore quarterback Jacob Higgs. Four touchdown passes and two rushing touchdowns in the 55-13 road win against the Burroughs. The victory puts Terry Cleveland's Sultans in a dead heat with Serrano for the third playoff berth for Mojave River League teams, but Sultana does face a tougher row to hoe the rest of the way. They go to Serrano next and then finish league play against Oak Hills. We Got Em Tees presents this Action Highlights High Desert Sports Report. We Got Em Tees, your headquarters for custom screen printing and mastercraft embroidery design. We Got Em Tees, two locations, Apple Valley and Upland. Oh yeah, We Got Em Tees.